the issue, the issue of Yazid of the past, the issue of the Yazid of yesterday was the existence of Hussein. And the issue of Yazid of today is the remembrance of Hussein. We have them. So how do we interpret this? The framework of the event, my dear brothers and sisters, it's, it's not a part of history. You know, a lot of the times I, I, I hear people and speak to you, oh, yeah, it's a part of history, you know, historical events, people can, um, you know, make them up. Uh, you know, these historical events, uh, people can concoct them and make them up. So, you know, there's so much, uh, there's not much truth in it and all the details are fabricated. And so it's a very easy way of kind of uh, rejecting the Karbala narrative. To easy way out, oh, come on, it's between two princes or, you know, like that. But, you know, the fact is that Karbala is not solely based on the books of history. Karbala is in the Hadith literature and is such a momentous event, such an importance, important event in the history of Islam that the Prophet Sallallahu Ta'ala Alaihi Wa Alaihi Wasallam before the birth of Imam Hussein told us before the birth of Imam Hussein, he said, Hussein will be killed with Shaheed. After the birth of Imam Hussein, Rasulullah says, Hussein will be killed. After the Shahadat of Imam Hussein, Rasulullah is telling us through a dream at the plains of Karbala, collecting the blood of the martyrs. So the whole Karbala tragedy is not something, a power struggle between two princes or kings, but it very much has a religious sanction, sanctioned by the most important person in our deen. The Prophet Sallallahu himself. So I would like now to quickly provide a, a framework of interpretation for Karbala. And the existential justification of Karbala in Hadith literature. Wouldn't hold you there for long. But there is some work I have done already. So this in front of me is al ahadith al sahiyah Silsilatul ahadith al sahiyah by the Salafist, um, the renowned Salafist scholar, Sheikh Nasruddin al-Albani, who is a, a prominent Wahhabi scholar. He recently died. In his collection of the Sahih Hadith, book of Sahih Hadith, here is the Hadith about Imam Hussein alayhi salam's shahadat before his birth. So this is in Silsilatul Ahadith is Sahiyah. I will go through it quickly. Umm al-Fadl bint al-Haris, radiyallahu anha, she says that, uh, and, uh, you know, said the reporter says that she went to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and says, Ya Rasulullah, inni ra'aytu that munkar, uh, one night, Rasulullah, I saw a nightmare, a bad dream. And it is inna hu shadeed, it's a very bad dream. Qala, the Prophet says, Maho, what is it? And she says, Ra'aytu ka anna kat'atan min jastika uti'at, wudi'at fi hijri. That as if a piece of meat from you, Rasulullah, had fallen in my lap. Rasulullah says, it's not a book of history, it's a book of hadith. Sahih hadith. The Prophet said, Ra'ayti khayran, that you, there's a good dream, 
تلد فاطمه تو ان شاء الله تعالى غلاما that the fatima will have a son and that little baby will be in your lap and then fatima salamullah uh, alayha gave birth to imam hussein alayhi salam and he was um al fazl says that he was in my lap as the prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam so she says fa dakhaltu yawman ila rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam and i came one day to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and what do i see tuhriqan min ad-dumu the rasulullah alaihi salatu wasalam is is crying heavily profusely is crying tuhriqan min ad-dumu he's crying and i says ya nabi allah or the prophet uh, rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam my what happened and the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam says atani jibril fa akhbarani inna ummati sataqtalu ibn haza yani al husain that jibril has come and informed me that my son husain will be killed by my ummat and he has brought me the the red soil from the place where he will be killed in the comments to this hadith al albani sheikh al albani says qultu i say lakin lahu shawahid adida tashhadu li sihatihi he goes this hadith has many 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 different evidences and means that this is an authentic sahih hadith so this is something happening prior to the birth of imam hussein alayhi salam it's not in tarikh tabari it's in a hadith by silsilatu ahadith sahiha by nasiruddin albani so are you with me about how we interpret karbala it's karbala is interpreted for us by rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam if look imam it's the sunnah of the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam to cry for imam hussein Do you know we as a brother is sunnah 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 this is sunnah man crying for imam hussein alayhi salam is the sunnah for the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam imam ahmad ibn hanbal in his fadail us sahaba narrates a hadith and it is also authenticated by al mulla al ikari al hanafi the great hanafi imam we are alhamdulillah hanafi mulla ali qari says that imam hussein alayhi salam says man dama'at aynahu fina dama'atan whoever cries for us one oh man qatarat aynahu fina qatratan whoever sheds a tear for us fa'ata allah aljanna allah will grant him paradise This is Ahl Sunnah sources. The second place, so Jibreel alayhi salam comes and tells the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam that your son will be shaheed. This is Fadail al-Sahaba by Imam Ahmad ibn Hanbal. The, the four, you know, the four Imams, Sunni Imams. He is one of those Imams. The Hadith number in Fadail al-Sahaba is thirteen fifty-seven. its commentator wasiullah min muhammad abbas who is a, a teacher at the makka umul qura university uh, you know a salafi scholar he says under it uh, under the hadith uh, number 1357 he says uh, the isnadu hu sahi the chain of his reports is sahi is authentic so what's the hadith same thing Uh, it says an aisha or um salama either is from aisha or from um salama he says that laqad dakhala alayya al bayta malakun that on one day an angel came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam who never came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam so a jibril alayhi salam comes and tells him and then a strange angel an angel who never came to the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam he comes and he tells 
رسول اللہ صلی اللہ علیہ وسلم سیز ان ابن کا ہادا حسین مقتول یا رسول اللہ یو سن حسین ول بی کلڈ مقتول فا ان شیتا ان اف یو وانٹ آئی کین برنگ دا توربت آئی کین برنگ دا سوئل وے حسین ول بی کلڈ آن کربلا یو نو ایٹ ڈزن سی کربلا بٹ وے ہی ول بی کلڈ فا اخرجا الیا توربت حمرا اینڈ دین رسول اللہ سیز برنگ ایٹ And the angel bring, brings that red soil, red soil from the place where Imam Hussain alayhi salam will be shaken. Do you see, not only the event, but the, the turbat is so sacred. It is so, it's so holy, so sacred that Rasulullah alayhi salatu wa salam offers to bring it and smell it. Sahih hadith, Imam Ahmad al Hanbal. So this is the foretelling of the shahadat of Imam Hussain, not in had tarikh book, hadith sahih. And there's more, but uh, I will finish. So that's Fada'ilu al-Sahaba. Tarikh al-Islam is by Zahabi. Zahabi is one of the students of Ibn Taymiyyah. Ibn Taymiyyah uh, was a right winger in terms of interpretation, and um, um, he was one of his students, so obviously he He, you know, an apple doesn't fall far from the tree, right? So he was very close to uh, a Zahabi, but in his Tariq al-Islam, this is his book, a Zahabi is a great Hadith scholar, no doubt, uh, selective, but Hadith scholar. Uh, and he says uh, about the same thing, and so on, that Hussein will be killed, and if you want, I can bring the turbat. If you want, and, and Zahabi says, Isnaduhu sahi, rawaw Ahmad wa nas, and the, the report is sahi, and it's reported by Imam Ahmad and many, many other people. So this is after the birth of Imam Hussein. You've seen before the dream, now after the birth, an angel comes to the Prophet and says, and it's authenticated, it's not a daif fabricated, it's sahi hadith. It's such an important event. That Rasulullah alayhi salatu was, the angels are coming, man. You know, Jibra'il, strange angels, the angel of rain. Different people, different from the celestial offices of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There is different angels are coming to, to tell the Prophet, Ya Rasulullah, Hussein will be killed. Hussein will be shaheed. In sahih hadith, I did not make it up. Our Salafist scholars are saying sahih hadith. Ahadith al-Sahiyya, Silsilat al-Ahadith al-Sahiyya, Nasr al-Din al-Albani, again says, it's a long hadith, he says that Anabi Tufail is ta'zana that Malakul Qatar, the angel of rain, sought permission to see Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, and then he comes Inna al-Husayna yuqtalo bishatti al-Furat that Hussain will be killed on the banks of the river Euphrates. Angel of rain. Al-Albani. He says, وَبِلْ جُمْلَةِ فَالْحَدِيثُ الْمَذْكُورِ And he says, سَحِيُّنْ بِمَجْمُوِ هَذِهِ الْتُرَقِ This is hadith is sahih because there are so many chains of narrations together that this is sahih. He is authenticating it. Angel of rain. Why the angel of rain? Malakul Qatar. I mean, come on, why? Jibreel alayhi salam, you know, who's the, the in charge of the information, you know. And, and another angel, uh, an angel who doesn't, is not who. And then an angel of rain. Why? It's an indication. The Ya Rasul Allah. Rain and water has been given by Allah Ta'ala in my control. But on the day of Karbala, I'll be unable to give rain to your children because it is the decision of Allah Tabaraka wa Ta'ala. Angel of rain. And here, my dear brothers and sisters, 
It is strange thing. You know, Tabakat, Tabakat ibn Sa'ad is the earliest Tabakat work, uh, uh, you know, in, his, in, in Ahl Sunnah. He died in 270. So he's a contemporary of Bukhari, Muslim, Abu Dawood, and so on, right? Tabakat work, you know, and in Tabakat of Ibn Sa'ad, there is an, a report which is, meets the standards of Seer and Maghazi. He says, Haddasana Muhammad ibn Sa'ad. He reports on Muhammad ibn Umar. He reports on Abdullah ibn Jafar. And he reports on Abi Aoun. What is the narration? Lama kharaja Hussain ibn Ali min al Madinah. When Imam Hussain alayhi salam left Madina, you know, his eventual destination was Kufa, you know, to, towards Iraq. So he went from Medina, then he's going to Mecca, and then, you know, you are familiar. And then, and when Imam Hussain had left Medina, Sharif, and on his way with his family and so on, and he met a man called Ibn Matir. And this is Tabqat Ibn Sa'ad, you know, this is not Tariq Tabari, you know. And, and he says, فَقَالَ أَيْنَ فِدَاكَ أَبِي وَمِّي Ya, you know, Ya Hussain, where are you going? You know, which way, where are you heading? And, and, and he says, Aratul Kufa or Mecca, you know, he's going. And then, long story, and he says, may my parents be sacrificed on you, Ya Imam Hussain. And he says, إِنَّ بِئْرِ هَذِهِ قَدْ رَشَحَتْ that, yeah, Imam, you know, my, this well I've got, this well of water, it's dried up. You know, imagine in that harsh terrain of Hijaz, hot. He goes, my well is dried up, there's no water. Says to Imam Hussain, Imam Hussain is leaving Medina Sharif to go eventually to Karbala. And on his way, this man says, Ibn Mati, Ya Hussain, you know, my well is dried up. There's no water in it. What does Imam Hussain salam, say to him? He says to him, Hati min ma'iha. Go and bring whatever little water it has. Bring the water to me. So he goes and brings the little water that it has. And he gives it to Imam Hussain salam. Imam Hussain drinks it, does mad madha, and then he, after drinking, he throws the water back into the well. What happened? Fa'adaba wa amha. The well suddenly filled up with water, and the water was so sweet and so nice. Hussain alayhi salam, had he ordered the clouds, had he, to look, the water, but he was following the mashiyat, he was following the laws of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So this is a karamat of Imam Hussain alayhi salam. There are um, other evidences, um, for, for example, Musnad Abi Ya'la, he died in 307, is also a Salafist, Zakla, is also a Salafist literature. Uh, so I've given you a Sahih Hadith, and I stand by them, you know, anytime. Sahih Hadith, and now another, another history book from, uh, from the Sunni aspect, Musnad Abu Ya'la, Al Mawsali. It's uh, uh, researched by Ashad al Haq al Athari. In it, there's a hadith, and the hadith number is 358, uh, and it's graded by Imam Al Haythami in Majma al Zawaid. He says that Rajaluhu Thikat, that the reporters of this hadith are authentic. And it's also reported from Imam Ahmad, Abu Yala, Al Bazar, Al Tabarani. And another Salafist scholar, Muhammad Ahmad Shakir. In his commentary on Muslim Imam Muhammad ibn Hanbal, he comments that isnaduhu sahi. He says that the, the isnad of this hadith are sahi. 
So it's authenticated by various different people. Al-Haythami, Al-Shakir, and so on. The hadith is long. When Imam Ali, <coughs> Karamallah Wajah al Karim was traveling to, from Sifin, you know, Sifin is in Iraq, and he's traveling from Sifin, and he reached Nainawa, you know, around there. And he says, Isbir Aba Abdullah, Isbir Aba Abdullah. Imam Ali is going to Sifin. He says, Oh, Abu Abdullah, have sabr. Be patient. His companions, people, they didn't know whose epithet, you know, whose kunia was Abu Abdullah. He said, Mother, who is this Abu Abdullah? Hazrat Mawla Ali alayhi salam says, Dakhaltu ala ala nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam zaqa yawmin. That once I came to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa'aynahu tafidan. And he was heavily crying. And I said, Ya Rasulullah, what happened? Why are you crying? He goes, Well, Qawma min Jibreel has come. Fahaddasani, and he, he told me, Da anna al Husayna yuktalo bishat al Furat, that your son Hussein will be killed on the banks of Euphrates. It tells, the Hussein will be killed, but it also tells us the place where he will be killed. The Jibreel comes and tells Rasulullah And as a result of it, the Prophet is crying. This is a Sahih Hadith. And then Halaka and Ushimmaka min Turbati. And then Jibreel says, Would you like to smell the, the, the soil of Karbala? And he says, Yes. And then Jibreel bought it. And Rasulullah smelled it. So this is in Musnad of Abu Ya'la, another Sahih hadith that where Imam Hussein's shahadat, his martyrdom, is foretold by the Prophet. After the shahadat of Imam Hussein, alayhi salam, before birth, when he's a child, and now after his shahadat. And this hadith is also Al-Albani said Isnaduhu Sahih. He also categorizes the hadith as Sahih. In Fada'ilu Sahaba, uh, the, the Wasiullah, he also says that Isnaduhu Sahih. So the, another hadith narra narration which says that the chain of narration is Sahih of this hadith. What is it? It's from Hazrat Ibn Abbas, radiallahu anhu. He says, Ra'aytu Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. That once he says, I was asleep, Niswan Nahar in the afternoon, or something like that. And he says, I was asleep, and I saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam in a dream. Now, by the way, in Bukhari, Muslim, all these books, it is unanimous that man ra'ani faqad ra al haq that when this, this sunnah, ahl sunnah aqidah is, that whoever sees the Prophet sallallahu in, in a dream, he definitely sees the Prophet sallallahu in a dream. Shaitan cannot imitate to be the Prophet sallallahu So the dream of Ibn Abbas is actually, he definitely sees Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. Had Ibn Abbas, what does he say? He says, I saw the Prophet وسلم, in a dream one day. And Ashatha Aghbara by Yadihi Karuratun Fiha Dammun. That I saw the Prophet. This is Sahih Hadith. He says, He did not have an amama on his head. His hair was disheveled, you know, all over the place. It had, you know, Gardo Gubar, you know, it had, it's, it's not very, or the mud and clay or whatever, you know, sand in his hair. His hair is all over the place in a very, very sad state. 
sad state of the Prophet ﷺ. In his hand, bijadihi qaruratun. In his hand is a bottle, and in it is blood. Fakulto bi abi anta wa ummi wa hada ya Rasulullah. My my parents be sacrificed on you. What is this? And the Prophet ﷺ says, "Hada damul Hussein wa ashabihi." This is the blood of Hussein and his companions. <coughs> Rasulullah in a such a sad state, collecting the blood of the martyrs on the day of Karbala. And the reporter says, فَأَحْسِيَا ذَلِكَ الْوَقْتَ فَأَجْدُوا قُتِلَ ذَلِكَ الْوَقْتَ And when, they, when Ibn Abbas told the, uh, when Ibn Abbas, explained and told the um, about Karbala, they collected when the news then came, the news then came from Karbala that, you know, a few weeks later or, you know, because it was, and they, then they put the days and, you know, together and said, right, this is exactly the time when Imam Hussain alayhi salam was <coughs> shaheed and martyred. So Karbala, it is not a fight between two princes. It is not a fight for political gains. It is not a fight for the world, but it is fight for the deen. It is fight sanctioned by the Prophet sallallahu ta'ala alayhi wa alihi wa sallam. Allama Iqbal, the, the musavvir of Pakistan, says, in the quwwat az hayata mad padi. Musa o Fir'aun o Shabbir o Yazid. See that these two forces of good and evil have been traveling down from Adam alayhi salam to Musa, to us, to this day. What are these forces? The enemy of Musa was Fir'aun. Musa, the representative of the forces of good. Fir'aun, the representative of evil. Similarly, Imam Hussein salam, is the representative of all the forces of good. And Yazid is the representative of all the forces of evil.